Wayne, thanks for the invitation to WWS. Now, this is part of the MAPAL group. Now, this facility here, as I understand, is the largest engineering and manufacturing of PCD tooling in the world. What makes WWS so special into the market? WWS is synonymous with quality within the MAPAL group and precision. And obviously, today, we'll see different skill sets, different operations, and different techniques. We're a unique techniques to produce in precision high speed, high quality tooling within the group. They also support all the subsidiaries around the world, making sure we standardize and we have exactly the same machines, training, attitude of people. And this offers a quality to our customers, which is second to none. And when you look at the PCD market worldwide, is it very much automotive or is it going into other disciplines, other manufacturing disciplines? It's very important as we see changes to our market that the PCD tools become used in many different uh, business sectors. We've got medical, we can use it in non-ferrous machining, we've got glass manufacture of lenses. So aircraft will always be a growing market for us. So automotive was the home where PCD and high-speed machining was really born. But we see a multitude now of avenues where we can use our, our expertise within the world market. Wayne, as I understand this, is this one of the first processes that you look within PCD tooling. Now, you tell me that WWS is one of the largest manufacturers of inserts as well as actually bespoke PCD tooling. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the process that we're seeing here? Yeah, this particular process for us is part of our PCD milling range, which we would deem a standard range. So within six or seven material groups, we would make hundreds of thousands of PCD inserts here that would go worldwide to our or customers and our other uh, centers of excellence and subsidiaries. With this particular machine, we're grinding to microns, so we have consistency, precision, in a standard, more mass-produced market, which would be a standard range. Alternatively, we would do single-digit numbers for special applications for our customers, so we retain the solution-providing element from face milling and also a standard off-the-shelf range. Now, I also understand here at WWS that there's over 50 designers are working on PCD solutions for your customers. That must be unique in the marketplace. Yeah, it's very unique. Each particular tool would carry its own SAP number. It would be driven by the partnership with the customer, understanding his needs, the criteria of success for his solution in particular. But each designer then would have to use the knowledge of the application to control the tool. This would have its own SAP number. So any changes, any design modifications and optimizations we do is very secure in our inline process within the company. And the design is where it all begins. And is that driven by your customers? In other words, everything needs to, to, to have a mark effectively. So any, any part of the process, it can be traceable? Certainly, particularly with the validation we require in aircraft. The aircraft industry and automotive industry now is governed and it has to be very compliant and very strict. So for us, the SAP number is a recognition and identification of the time it was produced, how it was produced, by whom, which processes. So it gives the customer a real security within the process that our control element and process control and efficiency is never compromised. And after this process we're seeing with this uh, robot system here, what's the next process in reference to the actual inserts? After we've ground the inserts to our precise microns uh, tolerances, they would go into a particular tool body and a particular diameter and they would then be set to microns internally at the next section we will see and then they will be balanced, packed and then they will be dispatched to the customer. Wayne, part of the process here at WWS is not just the inserts but you're making special tooling. Now this is the grinding operation that we see here. Could you explain to me how this fits into the strategy at WWS? Yeah, what we would take on this particular discipline, we would take a a precision ground carbide rod. It would go through the automated loading mechanism into the machine. Obviously with the automation to reduce processing time allows us to satisfy our customers and our on-time delivery. What we would do next, we would take the cylindrical ground rod and we would produce a special tool form fluted with the pockets for the PCD. So looking at this process then Wayne, is this the benchmark for let's say the grinding operation across all the other PCD manufacturing plants. Is, is this the benchmark here at WWS? Correct. WWS would be the competence centre for the entire group. All the other subsidiaries would follow in line for the, as we said, the wheel sets, the SAP number, the download of the programme, 
but the quality and the uniformity of the process would be proven here and then it would go global to ensure our customers get the same tool in any location around the world. And one thing I see on the machines here is the automation process. Is that because the demand for your PCD tooling is that high and to meet deliveries? Yeah, very critical to the, the, the president and the, and the company is on time deliveries for our customers. We have to adhere to that and the process times we can shorten from order to delivery is always in the benefit of our customers. Wayne, at the start of the process, we've seen you using lasers here for the inserts, but with special tools, why are you using the DMG Mori laser tech? The laser technology that we've invested in in, in the competence center at WWS allows us to produce tools that necessarily couldn't be wired with more complex forms and more complex solutions to the customer. So it gives us far more flexibility in production and allows us to open up the wide range of applications and new business. So it's essential for us with the current range of tooling that we supply. And is that the strategy at MAPOW? You're investing in the best quality machine tools, lasers, whatever it may be, to get to the best product for your customers? Absolutely. We have to keep continually improving. We have to continually take the market trends and we have to invest in the best capital equipment to deliver to our customer. Wayne, at WWS and the MAPOW Group, you're investing heavily. Now, this Volmer machine is the latest wire machine. Now, I see that you have a lot of machines here, but I also believe that you're one of the largest Volmer users in the world for wire technology. Why do you use these machines? Obviously, the relationship with Volmer worldwide is, is very good. The relationship is strong. This current machine also allows us to develop our own unique cutting parameters from a standard machine, which is unique to MAPAL and which is developed here in the competence centers. Obviously then that is spread throughout the group to do the locations to ensure we can deliver the same quality on the same machines to our customers and also for our training and the skill set of the people. We're talking a common language around the world when we're looking at the technology of this current machine. And are you just using these for, for standard tooling or also bespoke? Both. They can do both, they're capable of both and depending on the location and the requirements in the domestic markets and of the, the projects and the new business, it's comfortable doing either. And when you look at the latest technology, it's not just in WWS. You, you have this blueprint of the actual factory at the competence centre here, but you've also put that into other areas. Yeah, correct. So anything we do would primarily be proven, commissioned, and all of the parameters set in the headquarter, in the competence centre, and then that would be for the benefit of the customers spread globally. Wayne, it's been a fascinating experience to come to the largest PCD manufacturer and engineering company, WWS, part of the MAPOW portfolio. Now, could you tell me where you see the PCD market? Where, where do you think it's going to be in the next few years? The PCD market will still be an integral part of the MAPOW portfolio, no question, globally. We do understand that the changing uh, environment we're in and the conditions of the uh, e-mobility coming, the internal combustion engine changing, PCD will have an integral part and MAPAL already has the expertise and the technology for the e-mobility and new, new energy vehicles. Obviously we have to look for new business, new applications will bring different demands from our customer. We will continue to develop, hopefully if you've seen today, the expertise, the skill, the knowledge we've retained to make us number one in the world. We have to take that to our customers offering new solutions, for example, in the, the lenses, maybe into medical, but for sure in, in aerospace. So as the new businesses uh, develop, we have to develop with them and we have to offer a partnership to our customer base, no question. And the most integral thing for MAPAL is we can service the customers in each location and we have to ensure that with the competence centre being the, the, the father, that all the other uh, positions around the world can retain the quality, the, the precision, and the expectation of the customer in its own location. And when I see the investment, not only in machines, but people here, you have over 50 designers here, that makes you very strong in the market. It does, and we've recognised also the market changes and the delivery reliability, on-time delivery, the process times have to be reduced to make us more efficient outside of the manufacturing. Obviously, we're really proud of WWS. It's the Volmers, our, our relationship. It's the biggest supplier. Volmer is into the, the MAPAR group worldwide. but. You have to have all of the elements to be able to produce a diamond tool. Making diamond tools isn't easy, but the accuracy, the precision and making them properly is integral to the MAPAR group. And for any companies, engineers that really want to embrace PCD tooling, what's your message to them? We say, please, please contact us around the world. Uh, we have the local expertise, we have the project management and 
let us show you where we think the solutions lie. And obviously for PCD it could be a multifunctional tool, it could be a cycle time saving, it could be a process saving, but the cost to our customers we think for PCD is overall a, a small investment for a massive gain in productivity.